beneath a madrone in the orange particulate of a cloudless winter afternoon, I watch a naked soldier beat a horse to death with his bare hands. Two blows, one to the neck, one to the neck, one to the throat, brings the beast down. The naked soldier, beautiful as he is, with untamed hair, framing massive shoulders, leaps upon a creature that resists not once, collapsing, submissive, as though it died while still standing. A soldier's beautifully carved muscles, pummeling in and out of what remains of the animal's face, becomes blood, black and spackle, caking up his bulging forearms. The naked soldier flies into tantrum and finishes by stomping the pulpy mound attached to the sleek waist of equine muscle. And finally, the soldier relents, covers his legs, his torso, his head with the blood black and spackle, and then rises, feet together, arms spread wide above his head and turns to face the hungry orange particulate orb. It stares back dispassionate, unslaked, and remembering. I know. I know. Woo! Thank you. Thank you so much. That's good to read here tonight. Undissolved. Embankmented on the mist-scaped sand dune, the blood of I can't guess how many travelers and junkies pooled up beneath the blanket, everything starts to come apart. The tops of the trees, their branches, the birds, the hustler who conned me, the blades of grass, the pine needles, the rusty needles, the brown-black pond water, my cheap shoes, the piece of gum stuck to my cheap shoes, all of it loosely and inevitably flowing into molecular wave stretches beneath the endless pounding of the summer photons. And only the clouds remain undissolved, but shifting, making love to each other and themselves, folds and billows submersing within each other and themselves. I look across the blanket, where my lover has found a very different cloud to fold and submerge her fold and billows into. And I realize I am not a cloud, but like everything else, dissolving.